Amen, amen, and welcome to Wednesday Night Church. Father, we thank you for your word. It's your word what leads us, guides us, directs us, separates us from the wimps to, wimps to uh, mighty people of God in Jesus' strength, not our own in his strength. Amen. We're going to talk about tonight, how do you know if it's God's will? Anybody want to think about that one? But you, Brenda? How do you know if it's God's will? You ever prayed and you said, well, I don't know if God wants to give that to me or not. But I'm praying and I'm wondering. Well, you can answer all the questions tonight. If you got a Bible or a notebook or a mental note, 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and in verse 17. It says, 1 2 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse, 7, verse uh, 17. I'm counting here. It says, yea and nay. Well, we don't say yea and nay nowadays. We'd say yes or no. Well, is it yes or is it no about God? Well, number 18. It says, not yea or nay. That means not yes or no. Verse 19 just for the sake of time, I'm just reading them like that. Verse 19 says, is it yes or no, yes or no, yes or no? But what does it say? It says in the last four words there of 19, it says, <coughs> in him is yes, was yes. So you don't have to wonder if God wants you healed, saved, set free, delivered, and financially blessed, because He said, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times there, if you break it up, yes, He wants you healed, saved set free, delivered, and financially blessed, and living long and living strong. So when you pray and the devil says, well, God don't want you to have that. He says, no, the Bible says 10 different times. This is just a few references. It's all through the Bible. Uh, it said here several times, God says yes. See, God's not wishy-washy, and you don't be wishy-washy either. Well, I don't know if God wants me healed or not. Well, that's why you're not healed. Well, God, I don't know if God will save me or not. Church probably fall in. I start going to church. Well, that's why you're not turned on Jesus. <laughs> but when you know what the Bible says, well, I don't know if God really wants to save my neighbor or not. They're pretty mean. It says He wished that none would perish. Amen. So that's what we have to do. It says, no, I'm not going to listen to the enemy. I'm not going to do what he says. Uh, everything in God is yes. It's not yes and no, not yes and no, maybe so, maybe so, maybe tomorrow. No, 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 no. It only says yes, 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 and yes. And by His stripes we're healed. So that's a yes on that. So we confess Jesus as Lord. All those that call on the name of the Lord are saved. Why? Because the Bible says yes. There's not anyone that God wants to perish. There's not, well, I guess, you know, God don't love me. He's not bringing this or doing this or this or that. He already did it. We have to, we have to get it into our head and our vocabulary. He done did it. He done did it. What are you doing with your mouth? What are you doing with your faith? See, it's not dependent upon God. It's dependent upon you lining your mouth and your faith up with what He's done did. I don't know if that's a good English or not, but it done did it. <laughs> he done did it. That's what we should do. The devil say, oh, God ain't going to bless you this time. He done did it. Well, He's not going to heal you this time. He done did it. Oh, He's not going to save them. He already paid the price. He done did it. <laughs> Oh, he's not gonna bring the money in this time. You got, yeah, you got the bill looking pretty good, and got the house looking pretty good, everything. But this is the end of the money. That's the end. Ain't he, he done did it? Yeah, he brought in a car this time or a truck this time, but he ain't gonna do it again. He done did it. If all you get out of tonight's message is he done did it, 
you whooped the devil every time you said that. Why? Because the Bible says he done did it. Yes, yes, yes. Verse 17, two times, yes. Verse 13, yes. Verse 19, yes. Another one, and yes. Uh, the thing is, it says, in Him. This is only available to those that put themselves in Christ Jesus. Well, how do you do that? You line up with Him with your mouth and your heart. You say, Lord Jesus, right now, even on the internet, Lord Jesus, I ask You to come in right now, anew and afresh, and I'm going to only speak what You're saying, and You done did it. And you watch the blessings. Just you think you're getting blessed now. This is a kick it up. It's a kick it up from a whole group. Amen. If this stage here had th uh, three steps, and you started at the very bottom, and you stopped on the second step, are you on the stage? No, you're not on the stage. You got to take another step to get on the stage. Well, this is another step. It's no matter what it is. Well, he brought in some beanie weenies, but I mean, he ain't going to bring in no uh, steak. Well, he won't. <laughs> you guys say, no, he done did it. See, he brought in the electric bill last time, but uh, you know, this time's different. It costs more. Doesn't matter. He done did it. See, when you do that, you, you, you're not part of the world's economy. You're part of God's economy. And you sow your seed accordingly. He done did it. He done did it. And you get in Him. And how do you get in Him? You just ask Him to come in. He's in you, and you're in Him. It's kind of like when I was in Central America, we was walking by a bridge. It was actually on the bridge, and we looked down a railroad. It's made out of railroad ties, but it wasn't a railroad bridge. It was a driving bridge that you drive over. And we looked down in the water, and there was an old stove in the water. And the water was in the stove, and the stove is in the water. And it's like the Lord just showed me, that's how you are in Christ Jesus. You're in Him, the stove is in the water, and the water is in the stove. See, that's the same way you are. You're in Him, and He's in you. Greater is He that is in you than He that is in the world. So don't lean heavy on yourself. Lean heavy in what God put in you. See, don't, I don't be saying that you're the strong. No. He, he makes you the strong through Jesus. See? Because your human strength, you might get weary, but your human strength can be taken over and quicken your mortal body. Uh, Romans 8.11 Quicken your mortal body. Amen. Well, why would you do that? Because that's what you need all the time. Amen. So, Father, we thank you. We just give our lives to Jesus and do it afresh right now. We be filled with the Holy Spirit. Be being filled. That'd be the correct, not a one-time experience. Be being filled right now in Jesus' name with the evidence of speaking in tongues. In Jesus' mighty name. Corinthians says, now you can, I will pray in the Spirit or I'll pray in my understanding. So whatever your understanding is, your known language, Turn that off and just pray in the Spirit. It's just a choice of your will. It's like salvation. I choose to be saved. He already paid the price for me. He said, yes, 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 yes. And I've got a bunch more yeses in there because I wrote them in my Bible. So yes, 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 yes. Well, you think God will do? Yep, He sure will. Well, you think He wants me? Yeah. Amen. I don't even have to know what it is because everything is yes and amen with God. Amen. And you're lining up with Him when you give your life to Him. Praise God. It's a choice to be here. You think God will heal me? So-and-so's got terminal cancer. He already paid the price. Yes, 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 yes. you got to start doing that. Use your faith. See, faith doesn't say God's going to do it. No, faith says He done did it. See, He done did it. He done paid the price for salvation, being filled with the Holy Spirit. Healed, saved, set free, delivered, financially blessed. He's already nothing broken, nothing missing. Everything spotless and clean. He done did it. All the way through, He done did it. Amen. So that's what you got to start doing. You don't quit believing that you're going to be healed and just to receive it. Say, yep, He done did it. I got it. 
Quit believing you're going to be saved someday if you're good enough. You never can be good enough or Jesus wouldn't need to come. He said, no, he done did it for me. So I'm just taking what he already done did for me. This is a done did it message. What is it? What is it called? What's it called, Brenda? He done did it. He done did it. Whatever it is that you're using your faith for, quit waiting for it to happen and just receive it. He done did it and I have it. And the faith don't go by what you see, it goes by what you say. See the difference? Have a good one. Have a great one. God bless.